Happy birthday to me, motherfuckers!
<laughs> hey, you don't give back my wallet. When they get my car, my car is like, I made you like my car. He said, yeah, I want nobody else to take up stuff. <laughs> they ate out my damn car. So I'm going. And uh, I'm still lost. I'm in East St. my son. So I, I see a family. I'm like, all right, I'm going to ask them for directions. I pull up. One dude comes. I'm like, man, how you, how you get to the highway? Other people come. And uh, they all got on shirts. I say, rest in peace, Tyrone. And I'm looking. I'm talking to Tyrone. <laughs> and uh, I'm like, man, this is some ghetto ass shit. On the back of the shirt, it said, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> like, Niggas is preparing to die now. <laughs> oh, girl, buy a DVD or something, man. <laughs> how many, uh, how many of you got kids about seven or under? Everybody got, anybody got some kids seven or under? <laughs> Hey, yeah. You ever try to get mad at your kid? Try to argue, but you trip over something? Why you trying to yell at them? Blame them? <laughs> I'm talking to my daughter up there. She did something. I said, man, if you don't know your. <laughs> Who's size 13 shoes? Why is it in the floor? She's like, man, I didn't do it. I'll smack you. <laughs> A lot of craziness going on in the world these days. I'm going to talk about a sensitive subject. I'm gonna talk about a certain part of it. You know, talk about the, the Zimmerman, Trayvon Martin thing. I'm not gonna talk about if he was innocent or guilty. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna talk about none of that. I wanna talk about the little dumbass girlfriend that got on the podium and just ruined the whole case. Ain't she dumb? She, first of all, they didn't know she couldn't read. So she got on the podium. She's sitting there with a fat face. <laughs> they like, ma'am. She said, huh? Uh, can you read this paper? She said, no, here, you read it. <laughs> they like, ma'am, can you tell us the name on that? She said, no, you tell me. <laughs> and uh, so she got the paper. She's trying to pronounce Trayvon Martin's name. She's like, T-Ray, <laughs> Tree. She looked at the judge. She's like, what is this word? <laughs> He's like, if you don't get your dumb ass off the stand, then they asked her, they said, what was your first thought when you heard that Trayvon Martin got killed? She said, I watched a lot of First 48, <laughs> and uh, I knew that black bitch from Memphis was gonna come down here and solve the case and everything was gonna be good. They said, what? What you mean Florida? You talking about Memphis? So the next day she comes back, she's in a good mood. She's going to the podium hollering everybody, what's up, Eastside, what's up, what's up? Yeah. They're like, man, what's up? So they, they're like, um, you seem like you're in a better mood today. She's like, yeah, I'm in a better mood. They're like, what happened? Last night I had a two piece of Popeyes with biscuit and two sides and that shit. I feel in a whole lot better mood. <laughs> this ain't got nothing to do with the case at all. Paul Dean using the N word. I don't care what y'all say. Paul Dean ain't racist. I ain't, I ain't never ate her chicken and felt like she was calling me a nigga when I ate it. There ain't nothing racist about that chicken. You ever been to a buffet? Yeah, y'all quit yelling shit. <laughs> the Paul Dean, so, y'all crazy, y'all think that she don't use the N word when she's at home by herself all day. You don't think when she's cooking, she ain't saying all kinds of niggas and stuff? <laughs> These niggas gonna love this chicken today. <laughs> Baby, hand me the uh, nigga seasoning in the nigga drawer up there. Yeah. 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 She the phone, call uh, say the N word. Hello? Girl, I do nothing. Just cooking some nigga chicken. What you doing? <laughs> the heat? The heat want championship? Girl, I know that nigga LeBron was gonna get him a ring. <laughs> yeah. You know who my favorite player is? <laughs>